on. And in this video, we're gonna go over the um, Adam RC Dolphin motor mount upgrade kit. And I got two things to show you here. I got number one, this is the uh, factory um, motor mount setup from Adam RC. What this does is this uses two pieces of balsa wood. Motor is mounted to the first piece of balsa wood. And then you can see your motor mount screws here. And then the second piece, this is actually glued to the dolphin in the back of the motor mount. And then these are held together by these screws. And as you can see, these screws are just barely holding in there, to be honest with you. It's just a, it's not a very, very good setup. Now we're gonna compare that to this upgraded kit. This is 3D printed from eSun PLA Plus. And this piece right here is what mounts in the on the on the actual dolphin. And as you can see, quite a bit um, of a difference. This right here is the channel where the uh, wiring goes into. And I'll flip this over and show you on the plane too as well. But this is glued. This is glued onto the dolphin. And the way we glue this is we use a product. And you can use whatever you want, um, E6000. And you're just gonna smear it all over everywhere. Stick it in. You're gonna let it set up for uh, 12 hours before going any further and flying it. Um, this is printed with 100% infill. And to um, avoid melting or warpage, you wanna use 100% infill. You also wanna use PLA Plus. So this then amounts to the actual um, dolphin itself, to the aircraft. And then this piece right here is what mounts to it. And then the motor mounts to it. I'm gonna show you all this real quick. And this is what it looks like uh, mounted up on the craft. So first, let me slide the aircraft out of the way and I'll show you how this setup works. Um, whenever you catch some tall grass, if you catch tall grass or anything, this comes off. Mine came off with just a regular normal landing. The propeller caught and it, like I said, I, they had about the minimum amount of glue on here. So to remove this, you can probably just pull on it and it'll probably just come right off the dolphin. You will have to desot, you'll have to unsolder, desolder your wires from the ESC to remove this. Once you do that, these are just held in place by four uh, Phillips head screws. And I'm gonna remove these now. And there you go. If this was, if you wanted to remove this from your aircraft, you would just undo those four screws and then this would come off and then this, if this was still glued, this is what would be left on the actual aircraft uh, mounted to the dolphin. So then that separates it. And as you can see, I mean, even the holes on mine barely, you know, <laughs> they barely even, they got, they got missed a little bit, I guess you could say. And then what you're gonna have is you're gonna have your four motor to mount um, M3 bolts. And we're just gonna unscrew those. And you're gonna hang on to these because we're gonna use those. We're not gonna reuse the actual screws, but we're gonna hang on to the motor mount bolts or fasteners, whatever you wanna call them. And also, mine were loose to begin with. <laughs> that was good to know. And then there we go, our motor's off. Take this, put this in your spares bin and hang on to it. So now, we're gonna take our kit and we're gonna, this is our adapter. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount our motor on the adapter like so. The wires go in through this channel located right here. And we're just gonna reuse the screws. They go in from the big side, obviously this side is open so that the head can fit in there and then pushes through. Always, always, always double check your screws, your, your fasteners to make sure they're not protruding. And I'm just gonna, for the sake of time, there we go, we'll just lightly put those on there. Okay, so we got all four um, screws on there. This piece will be, will be glued to the body. Again, we use our E6000 and you can be liberal with it. And even if you get a little glue 
in these screw holes um, right here. Uh, nothing to worry about. The E6 the screws will go right through them. No big deal. Um, obviously, you want to keep the mounting surface nice and clean and flat because that will cause the motor when it mounts. You don't want it to pitch or, or have an angle to it. So then this piece is mounted on the aircraft and what you would do is you would take your wiring from your motor, you would feed it through and then it would come underneath like so and then there you go. Now if you get my, now with my kit, um, if you don't have a 3D printer and you want this, um, I do sell this on my eBay account. Um, I've had some people ask me to print stuff for them and you know, they say they pay me and this is just the easiest way to do it. And so in my kit, I include these uh, four screws here for you. These are a number four by five eighths sheet metal screw. And then these just go through and these screw to the base. And that is it. Now, with this thing being extended, this thing can absorb quite a bit of heat. I've tested it, run the plane wide open, um, um, no signs of warpage or anything else, and you can land with your prop facing straight down into the dirt, and it's gonna mess your prop up. It's not gonna rip this off the plane. Um, it is solid, it is good to go. Probably how Adam RC should have done it, but you know, they're saving costs and it is a hobbyist. Um, it is a hobbyist kind of sport, so our hobby, I guess you could say. And I'll show you this on the Dolphin here. And now you can see it here on the aircraft. Um, it is stout. So what's nice about the motor being a little bit farther back um, gives you a little bit better ability to do your center gravity um, with your battery. It gives you a little bit more leverage to get the thing um, set for CG. Uh, we'll flip this over and show you the bottom part of it. Again, if you uh, if you order my kit, it, I will include this little ESC cover, which is very nice and handy. And then you can see right there, the wiring goes in through and uh, goes up into it, just like the factory. But nice and stout, and you don't have to worry about any damage. So. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, the link to the file will be uh, down in the description below and the link to the eBay listing. If you don't have a 3D printer and you're wanting to get this, um, the link to the eBay listing is down there. It's 25 bucks, shipped anywhere. And uh, I just figured that'd be the easiest way to do it. But if not, download for free and print and uh, enjoy. Thank you very, very much.